Hi, welcome to another Move With Me session. My name is Suzanne and I've got a four minute core workout for you today. Again, we are in the chair. In this one, you do need to scoot forwards in the chair and have space behind you to lean backwards and forwards. So we're gonna start, as always, it's 30 seconds of exercise, 10 seconds of rest, four minutes, job done. So are you ready? I'm ready, you're ready, let's go. Sitting forwards in that chair, we sit tall. Take the hands forwards, you're gonna lean back and lift. So we're rocking ourselves back and forwards. As we do this, I want you to squeeze into your belly. So pull that belly button in. At the same time, I want you to try and activate your pelvic floor. So we lift the pelvic floor and we lift and hold. Let's do 10 more seconds here. Five seconds, just back and forwards, rocking off those sit bones and rest. Beautiful. Now, the next exercise, lean back and hold if you can, and we're lifting the knee, one side, okay? If you need support, sit back, that's fine. So here we go, so it's one side only. Again, pulling the belly button in, lifting through that pelvic floor, if you wanna challenge yourself, make it a little bit harder, take that leg straight. So there's many levels. You can even sit a little higher. It's completely your choice. Five more seconds on this side, 10 second rest, and then you know where we're going? The other side. Okay, so rest it down. I'm feeling that, are you? So it's the other leg. Pick the level that's right for you. Sit tall, brace everything in. We lean back and let's go. So lifting and lowering. Beautiful. Squeezing through that belly, yes? Now it's really important that we keep the muscles of our trunk strong. Why? Because they help us stand, they help us sit. They're really important for everyday movements. So strong trunk is super important for everybody. Three, two, and rest. Excellent, now we're gonna pop a bit of twisting in, so I need you to open your chest, brace your belly, you're gonna twist the upper body, and at the same time, lift the opposite knee, and we come to the other side. So we're here. Now if that's too much, that's okay. Take the knee out and put a little bit of a lean back into your twisting movement. Good. 10 more seconds right here. Let's scoop up through your belly button, scoop up into that pelvic floor. Three, two, and one. Oh, I felt that one. Okay, so we're still opening up through the chest. This time we're gonna bring ribs and hips together just on one side, so we come down and sit tall. Now, as you come down, I want you to kind of Crunch, so feel like you're pulling these muscles in. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Squeeze. So use your waist muscles to pull your ribs down towards your hips. Let's do another five seconds on this side. Three, two, rest. Oh, I feel that in the arms as well. Let's do the other side. Here we go, open, chest, squeeze. You gotta, oh, you gotta get those muscles working. Okay, you gotta use the muscles. So squeeze those muscles tight. Round, oh, that's it. Let's do another, let's go 10 more seconds, I think. Here we go, 10 seconds. Oh, I'm getting warm, I don't know about you. Three, and let's finish there, good. Wow, let's rest. Okay, now we're gonna challenge those abs just a little bit more. I want you to lift the chest, lean yourself back, extend the arms, and I want you to lift one leg, then the other. Lifting and lowering. So it's a little bit like what we did earlier with those knees, and if we need to, we can regress to that option. So there's always a way to keep moving at the level that is right for you. Up and up. And there we go. Good. 
three seconds, two, oh, rest. Okay, so we've got one more exercise and we're gonna hold this one, we're gonna stay very still. Brace through your belly, lift your chest, extend out the arms, lean back into your chair, don't touch it. You're nice and long here, chin is parallel to the floor and your shoulders are relaxed. And we're staying here now for the next 20 seconds. Feeling this work in here. Remember, trunk muscles stabilize us. They improve our posture. They're good for sitting. They're good for standing. They're good for helping us prevent falls. So really good reasons to do all this. And rest. Well, that was another four minutes of Move With Me, Suzanne. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you on the next one.